What's up guys, welcome back. This is Dan with Next Level. Today we're talking about avalanches once again, but we're using our transceiver. We're gonna use a couple of probes and we're gonna work on that pinpoint search. Let's get into it. All right, so common question. We get down, we've got our transceivers out, we're picking up on a low number. Let's say we're looking for an individual, right? We've got one person buried. I get down to somewhere around three meters, which most of us don't think in meters, we think in feet. So I'm nine feet and some change. Well, let's remember guys that our transceivers measure distance as well as depth. So at that three meter area, I'm gonna really wanna take that transceiver down to the surface of the snow and start working my way, not just to a low number, but to the lowest of the low number. All right guys, so my transceiver is searching for a signal. I've got a buried uh, tunnel bag with the transceiver in it, which by the way is a great way to practice. So we've got that buried. You can see from my transceiver, it's showing me a distance. It's giving me some type of direction. Within about 3.3 .3 meters, somewhere in there, I really wanna pay attention to just my numbers. It's also showing me clearly that I've got one person buried. So we're gonna move in on this. Now we're gonna take that transceiver to the surface of the snow. We're gonna watch this number. You can see how that number, go ahead. it's gonna go ahead and decrease. And that's what we're looking for, right, is decreasing numbers. So before I get going with this search, guys, notice that I've pulled my transceiver out. I'm in search mode. I'm tethered to the inside of my bag where the transceiver goes. Knowing that I want to go to the surface of the snow, a lot of times I will go ahead and unhook from my transceiver bag, but I will make sure that I tether to my body. So I tether back to my wrist. This allows me freedom of movement. Got my couple of probes and here we go. Surface of the snow, 2.7. 2.5, 2.2, 2.0, 1.7, 1.5, nice and slow, 1.4, 1.3, 1.3, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.5, 1.6, 1.6, 1.7, 1.7, 1.8, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 
distance as well as my trajectory so that I don't start probing all over the place. I'm gonna come into the ground, I'm 10 this way, let's start this way, 10 this way, and boom. I'm right on to whatever's underneath the snow. And remember, if I don't get positive pushback and it feels like it's something different, well, look at the depth of the probe to the ground and look at the depth of the probe to here. So whether or not I'm hitting something, I can kind of gauge that by coming down to here, I know that's ground. I'm pulling this out. I'm in a little over four feet of snow there. I come over here, and even though I'm not getting a soft tissue pushback, I know that I'm touching something. Based on low number, leave that probe in the snow, and let's dig to the base of it. All right guys, so hopefully this pinpoint search video, remember that using the probe to get that perpendicular, it's a great way for you to practice. I'm really, really liking the success that we've had with our clients using this in every scenario that we've done, where we'll come in, we'll get that parallel to avalanche path, lay that separate probe, get that perpendicular, and our, our results about being able to get to positive push right away, or even within the first couple of probes, obviously it's all good practice. You guys remember this, that back there at three meters, as I come into this, and I'm getting ready to go to that surface of the snow, it's really important to take a breath and to slow down. I see way too many people trying to do this way too fast and they end up backtracking. So remember, take the time so that you can make the time. Practice with your equipment, stay safe. You guys remember, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep doing videos just like this. Leave those questions, those comments below, and we'll see you next time. Ride safe.